Hey babies, what's up my darling MVPs and how you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shosley Mimi where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see they hurt. Of course you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If it snows you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the hot. So, guys, we are here for the after drama. African magic after drama. Okay, first off, let me start this with um cheesy. Cheesy one name, the writer with the right said, Una faves don't go borrow clothes to impress Una, A M V C A. And then Priska said, At least make you get better friend, we go fit borrow you. And then Cheesy said, No be friend, Una, I go pay later. <laughs> In case if you see them dragging your fave for not paying complete, this is what Cheesy means. Um, I beg, tag me their names, Biko. Now, SS3 uniform, Shege Banza, we SF. He no get money to even rent better attire. Troublemaker, them go drag oh well though, and no go defend. You know who that person called Sheg Banza was Shegs. We are gonna get to Shegs, do not worry. This guy, the cap legit. I like him, boldness, sha. Stop being a nuisance, go and borrow yours too. Cheesy, no. Then go return the clothes soon. Cheesy, so. But the funny thing is, you know, Cheesy, they've been dragging him recently, but that one is none of his business. If you drag him today, tomorrow he'll come and say another one. He doesn't even give a damn. This my new fave, no like peace, and I love it. This berry is a finition. So your Cheesy is your new fave right now because you people like drama. You people like people who are so chaotic. You Peace is never an option for you people. Any which way, KJ said, all the best to the nominees tonight. That was yesterday. Hopefully, I get my first next year. Amen. And of course, I say amen to that. From your mouth to God's ear. Amen. Meanwhile, I already told you guys it is African Magic Viewers Choice Award for the actors. Yes. That's specifically for the actors. We, the viewers, will actually give those nominees their wins. Yes, that is what that is all about, you know. And then, um, Jenny O said, you get plenty of people will go run on stage with you. Make I start today look for heels oh, that is comfortable to run in. This is Jedi O oh, tr um, tr actually trying to, you know, check Kanaga Jr. up that definitely next year, Kanaga Jr. will be mentioned on that stage. That is all of their dream. If you're an actor, may all of them really wish to be called up there, you know? And then Kanaga Jr. said, last year, K-Force defend Taya. Love them to the moon and back. See you all next year. And Kanaga Jr. was not there yesterday too. He wasn't there yesterday. Even for the Met Gala, he wasn't there, right? And you know, he is one person that his fans are always scared of what he's going to put on so that he will not put them into trouble. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, talking about the best dress. So the best dress last year said, holding her award, she said, still best dress 2023 slash 2024 until further notice. Like I told you guys from my previous video where we were checking out the outfits, you know, um, it, they did not give, they not give any um, best winner, just like they did at the cultural day. You know, normally everybody was looking forward to see who's going to be the best dress and all of that, but that did not happen. So Beauty, still maintaining her position, says she is still the best dress until further notice, you know. And I think um, the way they want to do it right now is in a different form. You know, they just want to, I think it's through their social media platforms that they are going to determine the winner so why beauty said um she's still the best dress and these are some of the replies um yvonne said you ate for real sandra essen said period and this person said wow i said it that's another magic is about to unfold wow you deserve it rj mom wins dear you look beautiful and then talking about her looking beautiful mercy ak was not present, but she was busy reacting to people's outfits, and beauty was one of them. She said, assignment perfectly delivered. You ate. While she was busy rating, you know, she was busy rating the fans, they para, they are like, yo, mercy, we didn't see you there, all you're doing there is race, as the judges are be, you know. Meanwhile, she was really trending yesterday. Not mercy, aka trending, past people wear dress for AMVCA, a queen and more. 
she was trending and you would know why. Messi AK is everywhere but on the red carpet. Yes, she was literally on people's lips. You know, they were busy calling out on Mercy AK. Why was Mercy AK being called out? <laughs> then this is it. It's so funny, actually. I'm not going to lie. So this person said, he reached that chaton to win best dress. Mercy AK Sugar Daddy stopped the award. God will judge you people. <laughs> so literally, they are like, it was Mercy AK. Mercy AK knows the people on top who had to tell them not to give best dress because Tacha was supposed to be the best dress. Hello? Hello, are you guys serious? You know, Mama said, Miss AK Sugar Daddy, thank you for the frustrating trash efforts. The smell was really labeled in vain. That's why they are mad. Keep crashing their efforts. We will drink their tears because it is so sweet. Messina really appreciates you. But how would you people even take such a thing so serious? Like, how would you even reason that way? Messi Eke was not even there, but you guys were calling out on her. You guys should be coming down on. All right, this person said, Shex is the type of person, once you become his hater, you go and always have the last laugh. Because tell me why he's addicted to making his hater happy. <laughs> what did Shex do? He eats, but what he eats is what I don't know. They've been calling out on Shex about his dress sense. They said, what is he wearing? That is, this is just regular. That he wouldn't have even come out at all. You know, they were just dragging the baby boy like I passed my neighbor generator. You know, but guess what? Um, if you drag checks, no matter what, the baby will always choose his, her man. As this person said, London boy in town, if you don't get it, forget about it. And Bella said, my best dress. So for all the people dragging checks, Bella said, Shags is her best dress for yesterday. Definitely you will pick your man now, but we all know he is not close to top 10. <laughs> all right, this was a period, poor. Like, the way they were dragging shares, I'm like, yo, you all take it easy. Take it easy. You know, hype your man, sis, period. If it is not expensive, if it is not premium luxury, in Shella's household, they don't want it. Please advise him to change this shoe. The shoe is crying for help. T for thanks. Now why? Now why? Hey! He should change his shoes. So you've been monitoring his foot. You've been monitoring how he wears shoes. And then you see that he's wearing a particular shoe all the time. For you to detect this one. When are they trying? Oh? Like you guys are literally trying. Because what is this? What is this? All right, coming from him, man. The BB Niger housemate takes the AMVC A10 more personal than the Nollywood actors. They are slaying it. Yes, of course. I also said that on my previous video. At least, them no go compare my babe with that one where they block everyone. Why talk, why talk when I argue about who's finer? You all should help the girl with a liquid style and raise. Maybe then this convo will be different. Nampua is referring to V. Yeah, V I ain't get this up. Yeah, and then look at it here. V's dress is ugly as F. I don't care how much Niger mainstream loves her, didn't eat at all. Instead, that whole look is starving. With her basic self, something that is on life support, she doesn't even have the personality to be memorable. She should stick to comedy on the TL. You guys are really coming for Z this way because, sorry, not Z, V, this way because of the drama that is happening between herself, Neo Abofure, in fact, the Abofure's, and then the beauty, beauty. That's why you people are really doing this. But to me, too, um, she's among the least dressed to, to me. Yeah. But these people are actually going deep because of, you know, the drama going on. I like that they didn't give best dress. It was such a waste and disrespect to the award, especially when Biggie's kids turn it into a do or die affair. Imagine busting your ass off and acting, hoping to get an award on, on that day and they just dash someone just like that. So this person is trying to say it's better they do not even give best dress because some people who merit it do not really get it. Do you think so? There is no best dress award this year, so none of our faves are winning the best dress. Africa Magic has no award for them. And then Crystal said, there is, but on their individual pages. The highest likes wins. So at this point, it may seem as though um, when your faves post on their grams, you know, and then the people who got the highest like is going to be the best dress. Do you like it that way? Do you think it is okay that way or you prefer the normal ways? Any which ways? You know, the normal way is when they nominate your fave, they nominate like top five or there, but I think it's top five or three, if I'm, I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. Then people would have to, you know, vote amongst those three. Everyone was waiting for best dress nomination, but multi choice said, no, our best baby should still maintain her title. Here is a beauty fan right here.
By this time last year, BBT housemate from SA branch wanted to use outfit to wound us, whether it was fitted or not. <laughs> Last year was literally so funny, I'm not going to lie. It was funny and interesting. Meanwhile, of course, the Likoro ship at this point, I think you people should let this to be. It's just choking at this point. Do not force things. If there is something going on, they are just giving us a play. That's a drama. That's acting. But trying to relate it to their real world, I think it's something that is not good. You know, I, do, I think it's something that is not good. Just allow them be. Allow this to be. You know, any which was talking about the Likoros and Saga... Um, Bibi Niger, Metro Niger said, after AMVC A10, Saga and Likoros will have shippers group. To be sincere, they are only forming couple in public to make their couple chronicle look more real and relatable. They only have work relationship, and I think so too. I think what Saga and Likoros has is um work relationship. I do not think there is anything aside work there. But if feelings grew later, then it is fine and okay by me. You know, me, I'm in love. I love love. But me, what I don't like is living in delusions. Yeah. All right. Coming from the very own Juicy J. Von Von Quedin, yo, just close the front door, man. Actually just drive into oncoming at traffic. What a queen. They must leave this fashion thing for you, Yvonne Gostry, because you are the whole show. Love when you guys, love, when you guys, when are you guys getting married? So especially in hyping girl, the question is when are they getting married? Interesting. And then this person said, hi, man, general, your babe, Ed, God, who will hype, who will hype me by what a man exactly simple and bears she doesn't do too much. God, if he can't hype me like this, I don't want him. Chai, I love love. She adds, my fave, you chose well. So this was Juicy J who was hyping his woman on the AMVC a thingy, you know, Oh, so sweet, Bakiti. Yvonne, let me tell you something. You want a true gentleman here. God, they are giving me butterflies. Of course, you guys know what shippers know how to do best. All they need from shippers, all they need from the ship is just to give them like this. Give them a glimpse and they will take it off from there. Please do us a favor as a country and marry her. She can never disappoint. It's not in her DNA. She looks beautiful. I was like, wow, when I saw her all beauty, perfection. Yvonne, number one fan. Yo, I love her. You, I love how you hail her. Please. She is them queen of fashion. So these are people's reaction after Juicy J said that about Yvonne. And yes, after Juicy J did say that, Yvonne also did react to what her man said. You know, I, you know when I see Yvonne and Juicy, all, all that comes to my mind is people who think they would never work out. So this was Yvonne's reply. She said, oh... Even in my next life, I will choose you. You have been hyping me literally all week. Oh, my God. See, Mimi is blushing right here. Who will hype me all week? Oh, eh? Who will hype me all, all week? Because what is this? So, yeah, guys, the Javon ship is still kicking on fine. Why Yvonne replied her man, these are the reactions she got from her fans. He said, yeah, 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 you won't reply our own hype. <laughs> Jealousy is in you people. I beg, no throw me or I get malaria. You guys should leave my von von alone. All right, make government ban all these relationship people self. <laughs> you will get body. So, guys, I'm not gonna lie. What you CJ and Yvonne has looks so beautiful. Mm? And I really hope it just remains this this way. Yeah. Patiently waiting for the day you share your prayer points with your fellow girls. Please don't associate with South Africans. Those guys are wicked. Wow. We they hype you every day in book. Now, looking at this thing that says don't associate with South Africans, it just gets to my mind. I saw something on the TL the other time on X app where they were saying South Africans in South Africa were saying, oh, no, don't date a Nigerian, blah, 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 blah. When I saw things like this, it, it weakens me because normally we should be one, but it is what it is, right? It would definitely, things like this would definitely occur. You know, we just have to accept it. Those who understand um, what life is would actually know what it is and not take all of this thing into heart guys i'm gonna be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later thank you so so much for always sailing with me bye for now babies